Hello YouTube. Today's short little clip is going to cover how do you set your rod and reel up with a bait caster from start to finish, new line to the finished product so you can get out there and catch big fish. All right, so what we're going to do today is we're going to learn how to set up your surf rod. I'm going to start, I've got the, the Abu Garcia uh, 6500 Pro Rocket. Uh, I really like this reel, cast really well. Um, uh, it's a level wine. Some people uh, don't like level wines. I do. So what I typically do is I just uh, go ahead and uh, go through. If you have a level wine, just make sure that you go through the level wind itself first. Uh, and you're just going to tie a knot. It really doesn't matter the knot that you choose to tie. Because if you ever get down to that, you're probably not going to keep the fish anyway. Um, I have seen some people do it, uh, the knot hold, but... It's not really that common. So what I do is I just just going overhead, double overhand knot, and back through, and it's just going to cinch down. And at that point, I'm going to grab my scissors, and everybody has a couple pairs of scissors on their on their bench. So uh, I go ahead and just pull that other line through there and I have this excess I'm just gonna leave a little excess there so I've got trilene big game 12 pound test some people like 17 I like 12 uh, this is kind of a handy uh, I just use my vice um, so I'm just going to keep pressure uh, on it and it's gonna just start to go and then it's just going to be nice and easy. I do have a, a short old fishing rod that I uh, uh, found in the trash one day. And I usually throw that on there, but that's just a little far away. So um, that kind of give you a little bit of help there. But we're going all the way to the top. We're about halfway down here. Just keep going. So now we're getting pretty close to uh, uh, be able to pretty full as you can see there uh, that's kind of how I like mine maybe a couple more the big thing is is where am I going to tie my knot so there's a lot of different tricks here um, when I I'm going to tie braid onto this to make it for my shock leader so it's uh, stronger so what I like to do is is I need to uh, look at where the level wind is here because when you cast you don't want the knot when you tie on your braid to your mono for your shock leader you don't want that right in the middle where your thumb is you want it to one side or the other so i'm going to just go ahead and uh, take it to one side got a little tight so i'm going to take it over to one side there we go. all the way to one side just like that i know i'm going to uh, cut the so I, you can see where the level wind is over on the side here so I'm just going to cut that off now here. Now I'm going to change out. Um, I just use a screwdriver. You know, any screwdriver will work. But if you know what you like uh, for fishing, you know what uh, size line. I always buy the one pounders. Um, but uh, when I redo my, my rods, I normally redo all of them. So uh, I use a little bit more line. Um, but a couple times a year, uh, and then obviously if you have a break off or whatever, but uh, always two times a year before the season starts. So what I uh, now what I'm going to do is tie a uni knot. I use this uh, this braid. It's called it's 50 pound braid. I actually get it off the Wish app. Um, some some braids out there seem to wind knot a lot, and I don't like wind knots. So um, this braid Spectra. Uh, thousand meters I think it's like under 20 bucks so uh, I have a couple spools one always in my bag a small one you buy it in smaller uh, but uh, I like blue you you choose your color you like I just like blue um, so some people disagree with my color scheme but I like it so we're gonna start by learning how to tie the knot so when tying this knot, I have my 12 pound, and I know it's not very uh, easy to see, and I understand that. Um, I'm going to give myself a little bit more line here. 
pull that out, click the handle so I don't spin the spool on it. Um, and now I've got a little bit more line here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to match the, the two up. So I'm just going to lay them over each other. And I'll give it a little demonstration later on, the, on this video. So I'm going to give myself enough times to go three times around. So I need enough line. And I always give myself there's enough line there uh, to get there. So one easy part about this, especially if you're doing it on the beach, is I always just go around my fingertip. That's one time around. Two times around, three times around, and then I'm going to just push it off. Now I got that, that, if you can see, I got that little circle. Now I'm going to go back from where the line was coming from. I'm going to then lick this knot. Because when, when you lick the knot, what happens is it becomes easy to pull. So it just makes a uni. So now I'm going to then just go the opposite way. I'm, I'm not going to do anything different except uh, just put the reel on the other side. So I'm just going to put my finger and now I'm going to wrap the braid around my finger. One, two, three times. And I just push the knot off. If you see that, and I'm going to go back through once again, lick the knot lick the knot so it's wet and there's the knot just made itself there and you can see the knot so we have the other knot right there so we're going to try to pull that knot a little tighter and then what we want to do is between these two we want to lick the knot or lick the line so it slides easy and now here we go we're just going to pull uh, the braid side the long braid side and we're going to pull the mono side and we're just going to pull them together sometimes they stick sometimes the knots not perfect so you might have to encourage it so i'm going to pull the mono side and i'm going to pull the braid side and then they come together in a uni now there's the uni knot and you can't really see it but it's not a very big knot and you can also you can also um when you cut this off, a lot of the guys uh, like to use a little dab of super glue. I don't use super glue, but it does hold the knot a little bit better. Uh, and I'm just going to cut off as uh, close to it as possible. So then I don't have a bigger knot and then it doesn't catch anything. It doesn't catch weeds, doesn't catch everything else. But this is called a uni to uni. And there's one. And I'm going to cut off the mono side. Doesn't have to be perfect. And now I just toss that away. And now when I reel this up, the knot is going to be on the side. You can see the knot there. Now that knot isn't going to hit my thumb in the middle of the reel now. Now when I'm, when I am, uh, I've got the braid already set up here. When I'm over here with my spool of braid. My goal is to make sure that I go across, across, at least that much. So the long beaches that you're on, you want to have more braid on. Because when you what you want to do is you want to get that knot inside the reel when you're reeling it when you have a big fish on. If you have that 45 inch red fish or uh, the bigger fish, you don't want to lose it, uh, that fish, because that knot uh, breaks. You don't want to... Uh, go real hard but this is 40 or this is 50 pound braid if i get there uh, I, sh I have a shot so uh, when i have a rod on i go a one two and a half so uh, if i have a rod on so i'm going to go one and I've, i use 12 foot rods so then i'm going to go two and a half and then at that point i'm just going to cut that off right in the middle And remember, the best thing that you can do for your surf rods is to have that clip. All right, since we have our uh, quick clip on, uh, now all we're gonna have to do is we're going to install the reel on our uh, rod of choice. You get to choose what rod you like. That's the best thing uh, about fishing. You get to choose the gear. So. Lots of great surf rods out there. Uh, everyone's a little bit different. Some, 
So I'm just gonna have to walk down towards our eyes. Don't pull real fast, we don't want that to. It's always nice to have a long bench too. Oh, and there's the video we're working on right there on the computer and a little Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A for dinner tonight. So I go all the way through and I'm just gonna go nice and easy all the way back. Now, with this being said, my quick release uh, is here. The big thing is, is you can choose whatever rig that you wanna put on it. Um, I've, I shared how to tie the Bruno rig. Uh, I just have one here, which is my what I consider my live bait rig when I fish in crabs. Um, I will share this with you, but not today, uh, how to make that. So I just snap that in there just like that, really nice and easy, just slides in. Uh, and now, so I always go hook to the quick clip on the first one. And then on the second one, because I'm, I don't, I'm not gonna tear down my rods every time. Some people do, and this is, and that's their their prerogative. I just have uh, a Yakima uh, system on my truck, so I don't have to tear take them down. So then, what I do is I just uh, go ahead and hook the last loop around the end. Go ahead and click that. Go ahead and click that, and then I'm just going to tighten it up, not tight, tight, I'm not bending the end. So now I'm I'm set, ready to rock and roll with my bait casting real ready to go fishing i hopefully this has helped comment below i want to say thank you for watching the video today uh, hopefully this has been very informative and you've been able to get your rod and reel set up so you can hit the beach when those pompano and whiting start showing back up here in jacksonville All right, so at the end of all my videos, I do something uh, that is informative and or, or funny. And this is take number two because I actually on my GoPro hit, take a photo. Well, I took a photo of this. Not what I really wanted to do, but uh, I use the big game, trialing big game, uh, 12 pound test in green. I like it. Uh, the main reason I use it instead of the 17 is not because of the power that I can bring a fish in, but it's the pure fact that uh, that it is the diameter so it's it's only 0 0.014 at di diameter which means i can actually cast it farther um, and number one i'm an i i grew up in iowa and it's uh you know big game was uh, made in uh, spirit lake iowa so i've been using it for lots of lots of lots of lots of years so with that being said so i use that and then i use the spectra on the wish app uh 50 pound braid uh, I do this 50 because I use, uh, I throw a five ounce Sputnik. Um, if I was to throw a four ounce Sputnik, I'd use 40. If I was to throw a three ounce Sputnik, I'd throw, I'd use 30. So, uh, and you can actually, in, in two ounce, you would use 20, uh, just so you don't break off if you're, if that be the case. Um, we're just trying to save sinkers mostly. So, uh, the Wish app is where you get Spectra and I, and I got this spool, um, I know what I like, so I just buy the one pound spool. Um, and so I, I, I will reline my line, my rods every every two, uh, two times a year. And that gives me the ability um, uh, to always have fresh line, especially if I catch a big, big fish, I always do. So to, uh, on this part of this video, I'm gonna show how to tie that uni knot with a little bit uh, bigger line. This is 50 pound uh, trick fish. Uh, saltwater leader so you can actually see it uh, unlike the 12 pound uh, and that's why you wouldn't use this pompano fishing because you can't you can't you can't hardly see the trailing and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get myself braid and i'm just going to set now 50 pound mono is not ideal for tying a, a, a uni knot but you can see it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hold it there i'm going to go around my edge of my finger here one two And I'm at three right there. One, two, and I gotta go one more time, sorry. For three. And I'm just gonna use my fingers to push this off. You're gonna see me push that off. I just push that off my finger and I open that circles there and I'm gonna push that right back through from where it came from. So 
I'm going to lick this because what happens when you lick it, it lubricates it. And when it's lubricated, it, it'll slide better. So, and this is not an optimal knot or line to be tying a unit to unit, but you can see it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that braid through there. Yep, it slides. Um, so that is the first knot. So then I'm not going to change anything. I just changed the position of my line. Uh, this makes it easier on the beach. You just put it, let the wind blow it the whatever way, typically to the right side. So I'm going to go once again. I'm going to put go around the end of my finger. I'm going to go one, two, and one more time right there for three. I'm going to push it off with my finger. And now I have the little loop. I'm just going to come right back through. And pardon me, I'm going to lick that knot. And here's how that knot cinches so you can see it. And then just pull it a little tighter. And there it was, cinched right down on the other. Now, lubricate the, lick the line. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that 50 pound mono and I'm going to pull that, that, uh, that 50 pound braid. And there that knot is. Kind of amazing that it actually looks as good as it does. But I would never tie that knot because it's just not a good, it's, I would never use this heavy a line to tie that on there. So uh, you could never cast it. It would but break your eyes off your rod. So uh, this is just a demo for what to do. But that's how you tie that uni. So uh, that uh, is the trick. Um, we do, I will have one of these uh, little videos at the end of why I do what I do. And our next video is going to be uh, setting up for the spinners.